Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome to the Comics After Dark for the Real Comic Fan. I'm your host, I'm Chad, also known as Mathra, and as always... Oh, and Tiffany. Hey, hey, you guys, we are officially past the 200 mark... By one. ...of Comics After No, at no. this moment, two? it's two. Dose? Yes, and dose. And we didn't even do anything special for it. We did. We said it was 200, and we continued on with yeah. our lives. Just I like made tamales. Else. Oh, no, what you did. <laughs> But where are our tamales yeah, is the question. They're mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I celebrated alone. By the way, tamales my wife, like my wife, huh? They're like the burritos in the corn? No, not even close. Yeah, they're like burritos in the, inside the corn things. There's no, no beans in it. It's not, it's not a burrito, bro. It's, burrito. it's a tamale. Because yeah. if you're saying a burrito, a that's like... And uh, the beef or pork. But, yeah, but, but with the corn around it, right? No. Oh, you're no, you're right. Just it's, it's, no, no, no. He's right because yeah, it's right. just like it's just like Olive Garden is a legit, authentic what Italian food, right? <laughs> I'm not because you're garden. totally insulting me I'm by done, saying it that way. Done with this conversation. No way, shape, or form a burrito. It is steamed. Steamed. Uh, it's a steamed burrito, then. No, it's a very endless breadsticks. <laughs> Go ahead. I can do this all day, fucker. I can do this all day. That's the one good thing. The about Italian food. Uh, yeah. Italian meatball subway sandwich. Legit, correct? It's delicious. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it came straight from Ita- <laughs> Italy. It, 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 Italy. It, it, no, it yeah. came from an yeah. Italian. It did I come from an Italian. I hate you people so much. <laughs> oh, we hate you just as Should much. Should we like- repeat that conversation we had about the Italian, <laughs> the French? Canadian? No, 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 we will not have a repeat of that conversation. No, because apparently Brian Leo Malley refuses to talk to us now. And he so lives thank you in so Los much. Angeles. Thank you so much, Tim. We appreciate the hate we now have for our the Most person that created that we Scott Pilgrim that we respect. But because you're him. because you you're the because you're the though. bad apple of the podcast. I don't where he's from? You the- fired. <laughs> <Hell? laughs> it's like saying like. Never mind, I'm not even going to get into it. So my whack attack is uh, Tiffany sent me this awesome uh, game that you could play via iMessage, and I totally got my ass kicked in checkers, and I never knew how much I sucked at checkers because I kept thinking like chess, and in no way, shape, or form. That's why you were making all those weird moves. I'm like, what a dumbass. He's like, why isn't he just going forward? I'm like, if I go this (laughs) way, I'll be no. And then at one point, Tiffany texts me and she goes, you just want this game to be over, don't you? And I'm like, yes. (laughs) And the fucked up thing is she hasn't allowed me to redeem myself, so she hasn't restarted the fucking game. So every time I'm trying to do it, it just keeps saying, you lose. And I'm like, I know. (laughs) Just let me do a new game. I don't know which game because I was thinking of the battleship or maybe pool table. I'll kick your ass at pool table. So let's do pool table. Cheers. All right. Well, this is way different than the real. <laughs> no, no, table. I have, I have like oh. a pool table game app. And then they phone. have a poker game, and then like this was it Scrabble. Do I get to poker face? <laughs> po 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 poker face. Po, 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 face. Terrible. That's <laughs> I. Not gonna go down that route. Let's go ahead. Let's continue on whack attack, you guys. Any uh, whack attacks? I I told you a little bit about mine. My uh my uh, what do you call it? Uh, <clears throat> What is yes. it when people sit you down and it's like you have a drug problem? Oh, French oh, Canadians. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, so, in, so Tim had in Tim had an intervention. Uh, yeah, with my my mom and my aunt. By and the way, penis. Go ahead and continue. Stop. Wait, what? So, so my, you'll see. They, they, they were talking to see. me. It's they, worth it because my mom sometimes watches the podcast, and my aunt, uh, my mom showed it to my aunt. And, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, and they had to sit down and they're like, you know, it's, it's pretty entertaining, it's pretty good and all that. And, like, I mean, all the effed up stuff we talk about, like, on it, that doesn't matter. Anal. It's just, <laughs> it's just, you're like, we just don't, we don't feel like you have to swear that much. Because apparently, uh, we, but specifically me, swears too much on it. Really? I thought I was the one that sweared a lot. Well, I think it's because I used to not swear. I didn't swear before Maybe the Maybe you hung out with me a lot. Yeah, exactly. I said <laughs> hang out with you well, guys. Well, first off, your headphones are on incorrectly. What do you mean? I can hear it. This is the left-hand side. I and think that's he wants to hear himself. But second off, <laughs> second off, I'm glad they listened to the episode where they found out that their You're son okay? is racist against French Canadians. It wasn't that one. Oh, so they uh, were okay with you being racist against think, French I don't, Canadians. I don't know if they've seen it yet. I think we need to send them commented. that video. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, you don't know you, my we, family. Can we, can we, we have your mom's Instagram? By. 
<laughs> Can we have your mom's Instagram so we can sure, tag her on the video on Comic Sans? I don't have one because I'm old at Instagram.com. R- uh, my mom it's, has an Instagram. <laughs> your the mom. name is Tim's mom who hates pugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. My mom loves pugs. Pugs burn on crosses. <laughs> oh, that Who's is her with name. with you guys, Kicking man. pugs. <laughs> Kicking pug, <laughs> Jesus! It's okay if it's a tradition. Kick it. It's a family tradition. Kicking pug cakes, kicking picking pug cakes. That's what it is. Terrible, bad joke. Uh, and this is also my whack attack. This. Ah, <laughs> right uh, nobody cares. So All right, pretty much me. every time you hang out with us, yeah. so whack attack. Yeah, it's but but I think constant that's, pain. That's why okay. we love you so much. I'm spiraling into an abyss of nothingness. You get to read. Free I mean, comics. this is like. You have to read free comics. Yeah. I do that at work too. Can you fix your headphones? It's really bothering me now. What is wrong now. with my headphones? They're on like the They're left hand side is the cable side. You have them literally because it's, it's close to the that cable. it doesn't matter, dude. Oh. You have nothing but room. Yeah, it's, fine. it's fine. Flip it, you son of a bitch! I'm going to kill your mic for this entire episode. <laughs> Flip it. Flip it. Flip it good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that, Tim. I will ki- I will murder you. <laughs> This no, you have right. Yeah, see, see, now it's on the left and the right hand side. It's correct. See how comfortable that is, Tim. No, I thought that way better. It's almost <laughs> snug and it's not as warm. <laughs> Tiffany, your whack attack. Uh, Do we have an update with your teacher and all that like work and teacher <laughs> stuff? Oh, he's gonna let me uh, do the final. Yeah. Right. And I moved up from cleaning the ojas to actually making the masa. Oh, with the family. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? But but you bought the masa. Pre-assembled, so it doesn't count, right? I, no, we actually made it. Oh, you made it. Mm-hmm. So I thought somebody made a comment. They're like, "I oh, that was just like a comment of like my grandma used to buy the masa from here or something like yeah. that." Yeah, oh, that but was... you still have to like make it to like where it's perfect. By the way, shout that out was the Instagram picture. Yes. yes. Oh, I don't understand what was happening. I was like, it's about to go down. By the way, <laughs> shout out to Stephanie. Apparently, some creeper guy like left something in her DM. And like me jokingly, I went into her DM, DM and I was like, I want to look at you the way that picture is of Gizmo on your profile. I was like, <laughs> just kidding. I just want to troll you after that guy left you that comment. And she was like, bah, oh my God. I was like, yes. Oh, trust me. We would get the weirdest people like working at GameStop, creepers fighting notes on our car. It literally said like, like, I remember you from GameStop. And she was like, I haven't worked there in four years. years. How do these people remember me? And it's like yeah, creeper status. There's just nothing but creepers. It's because they look. They they do nothing but gaming, and finally, when they come out of their mother's basement and see a woman for the first time, hired hot chicks. Okay. (laughs) Sure. Yeah. Hot. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I'm I'm not saying you're no prize. I never said I was. (laughs) Wow. Something I actually went in with a with a compliment, and and then all of a sudden I'm frowned upon. I'm no. You know what? Me and my panza and your masa are gonna have a good time. What are these things you're talking? It's like a, it's just speaking a foreign language. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's get into this. Week. I mean, you live in California. <laughs> you should know. By the way, my my buddy owns a, a house with a basement, and I was like, wait. I what? quoted Zodiac, and I was like, not a lot of people have basements in California, <laughs> and I was like, I'm never going to your house. I'm gonna get murdered. Yeah, that's true. Going to the basement. But but if you have like a really old house. Well, know. that was the creepy thing is that apparently the house was abandoned for six months and. There was an autistic kid that was like destroying stuff, and something happened to the father, and he like died in the middle of the night. What, was so it the Ted autistic Cruz? kid was like left there alone, and like would still sleep with, with the like the body. dad's corpse, and because he didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. Yeah. Was it was it Ted Cruz? Was this in Whittier? It sounds like Ted Cruz. No, this is I don't I don't know. Ted Cruz is Zodiac killer. Oh no, this is something else. And, oh. and technically, Apparently, they didn't prove who Ted was the Cruises, Zodiac killer. It's Ted they Cruz. Don't know. No, you can't prove that. He died before trial. Teddy Cruz is still alive. Oh no! Then it's the other guy, I think. <laughs> there was three. There Ted was like. Teddy Cruz ran for president. Did he? <laughs> yes, Matt. I'm thinking of. Okay, so I'm thinking of the movie, which I don't know. If he's just trying, oh, uh, I don't know if he's just trying to show ignorance of it, but he's going to be sorely mistaken. But no, there was. Remember the? I've the, seen the movie. Yes. Yeah. And the guy that like he last walks in, he's like, "Hey, you like stuff up your butt and weird, uh, weird chipmunks." I think you're the killer. And the guy's like, no, don't leave. <laughs> and then, <No. laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. So yeah, uh, this week's announcements, other than uh, Tim trying to make it look stupid, is apparently, did did the guy, the Zodiac killer, actually run for presidency? Ted Cruz, right? <laughs> you know who Ted Cruz is? 
No, I'm gonna Transition. say that. He's a really awkward guy. Somebody, some people joke. He looks like that guy from The Office. What's his name? Oh God. Um, uh, is it the, like the really big guy? Yeah, the, and he puts like, ice on Kevin, his, the fat yeah. guy. Kevin, he looks yeah, like a fat Kevin. guy, but he's like skinny though. But like the thing is, so some people jokingly said he was a Zodiac killer, but he's really awkward, so he overreacted to it. And everyone says he's that's what the joke. He was like seven when the whole thing happened. Anyway, it's and he like, got yeah. really offended. <laughs> yeah, he just got like really uncomfortable about it. So like, it's a running gag. Now. Did he bust a tam and go? I don't want to talk about it. I don't <laughs> no, want to talk about it. And I'm they're like, like you were probably. seven, you couldn't murder him. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Like, I mean, he's I was, the kind of guy you just want to fuck around with, you know? It's like, he's like <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, you wait, hung on that F for a little too wait, long yeah, for wait. my comfort. Ted Cruz, <laughs> Ted Cruz was one of the ones I was running against Donald Trump for like that party, correct? He's a Democrat. Am I correct or am I wrong? Yeah. I think he's a Democrat. No, no, he, no, no he's a Republican. He's a Republican. He's a Republican? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was only Hillary and um, shit. There's See, a th- shitload Hillary of people I'm, running. I'm so far. <laughs> oh, look it. This is too far in the past. A month or two ago, far too far for me to remember. Right I mean, now. he he dropped out far. In way, way earlier yeah. than, than a month or two. Oh, well, then see, even the, I don't even remember what I fucking did sucked. yesterday, okay? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, back into Children our announcements. Back into our announcements. Uh, of course, you go ahead and download Lyft and use our promo code RHP and get uh, 10 rides, $5 off. Or you could also try to drive for Lyft and then you know you get a huge kickback after 100 rides, you get $500 bonus and we get a huge kickback as well. So go ahead and do that. Or you could go to RATTHAUS.net and make some donations. Uh, Tim's mic isn't popping today. Yeah. It's yeah. all because we had to use one of our short, fancy schmancy yeah. cables. But hey, it worked. Yay. So fuck it. And apparently, uh, if you want Tim to school me more on uh, political stuff, you can go ahead and do- uh, donate. Uh, I, I know nothing R-A-T. about politics. So that, that's not true. That. That's not true. I just know memeology really well. Memeology? The study uh, of memes? Of the dankest. I could get the behind. Jenkins. <laughs> I, could, I could get behind that. You almost went into the to, to the laugh again. I know. The, oh, the Comic Con laugh. We just talked about this. Yeah. Uh, anyways, as well as go ahead and listen to or check out all of our friends, uh, fanboynation.com, ikiplay.com, uh, that hashtag show.com. Of course, uh, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Comics After Dark, as well as watch us on YouTube at Rouse R T T Space H A U S productions and follow security complex um who else we got gungo growing up not growing old gungo <laughs> uh, nerdy pop and nerd with an opinion and everybody at what was that network again uh well it's it's through polygon it's it's, it's, it's one of the guys the that polygon, polygon network all right let's go ahead let's get a little close let's <laughs> uh, get a little know warm if of all their podcasts are part of it i don't know we have a lot. I just know the main guy <laughs> from it, and he's very funny. So go ahead and follow the Polygon Network. Let's get a little close. Let's get a little warm. <laughs> Let's get into Word Around the Campfire now. Word Around the Campfire is our producer's not here, so I can't even get help on this, but he was the one that, that brought this attention to me, was that uh, Moon Dragon, I think he said. <laughs> yeah. Someone moon like dragon. that. Was it was it not dragon? Blue Dragon. Okay. <laughs> That's how I remember. It was Moon Dragon. Moon Dragon is apparently the daughter of Drax, so supposedly... She survives the killing of Ronin and will be appearing within Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Once again, it is very annoying that it is called Volume 2 and not Part 2, and I will fight that till the day it comes out. And because I- the first one was Volume 1. No, no, no. The first one was just Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy but but the it had tape had Volume 1. Which I understand that. So the next mixtape is Volume 2. Yeah, but which it's is not- everyone we're waiting for. But this movie is Part 2. Shouldn't be called Volume Two. Kill Bill was Volume Two. I know, and once again, no, but that came out as Volume One, and then Volume Two. You can't add a volume after you pretty like already put out something. If it was called Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One, I could get behind it. Then it'd be called Volume Two. But you can't just create that out of nowhere. And it's this not is really my out of nowhere though. It is because there was no value before. Just the mixtapes. Only thing. Somebody go give Matt a hug. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, a I'm, I'm fine. You're a hugger. You've hugged me. Side hug. What? Oh, it's still a hug? Side <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, I can get out of this. Side uh, hug. That one arm. Side boob. Hug. You like that? You shouldn't. Because that's my side boob. See? Not to be known as my And not boob. just boob, Matt, remember. But yeah, apparently Rick, that is this? Drax's <laughs> daughter, and she survives and will be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Will they have, like, in that movie, no. that clip of, like, how, like, what happened to their family? 
Instead of like him telling the story, like they'll go back and describe it. I don't know. I really? I so I also heard word around cool. the word yeah, around the campfire. Cool. I actually heard that. Okay, so we had um, I want to say it's Egon, but I know it's not. It's the it's the planet, the living planet. It's like, Egon from Ghostbusters. It's not once again. It's not Egon. <laughs> it's like it's it's something along that lines, and that is uh, to be Kurt Russell. Yeah, mm-hmm. playing the living planet, which is gonna be weird. Wait, I thought Kurt Russell was gonna be Star Lord's father. Yeah. Well, if that's a rumor. A human, I don't know. And the, yeah, that's the huge. So I'm actually curious as to what. Who Star Lord's father is? Who is his daddy, and what does he do? But who's your daddy? Just word. <laughs> it's not a Tuma. It's not a Tuma. It's a baby. Come on, what are you waiting for? Come on, do it already. Get to the next word around the campfire. Come on, what are you waiting for? Stop, man. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Chill. Oh wait. Yeah. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I just watched Thank Jingle you. all the way to oh, yeah. this week. I was listening. Uh, go ahead and follow Rat House, R-A-T-T-H-A-U-S dot net on, uh, on Instagram, and you will see uh, my family enjoying some uh, Austrian death machine. Jingle oh, yeah. all the way. And uh, I was the only one that was enjoying it, I will say that. <laughs> That's about right. So what are on campfire? So we all remember the... Uh, Nope. That scene from uh, Batman vs Superman where Flash. I, I try not that. to remember Batman vs Superman. Such a Ooh. negative Nelly. <laughs> Flash? What is that? Yeah. Uh, but um, Batman wait, wait, wait! Superman? So Batman appeared in the TV show The Flash? <laughs> Stop! Did this happen in the four-part <laughs> Stop, crossover that man. just happened? I hate you so much. Anyway, (laughs) you know what? Your hate equals how much I hate Batman v Superman. Uh, Did you watch the Ultimate Edition yet? No. You mean the one with just more dialogue and no action added? Of course not. Did you watch it? I literally just said, "Shut up." Did you watch it? No, of course not. (laughs) (laughs) And shut up. (laughs) Then Tim's word around the campfire is done. Uh, uh, But yes, the the old Batman v Superman. You can skip me if you want. No, 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 no. (laughs) Uh, anywho, uh, uh, well, Flash kind of appears in a brief little time wingly dingly thing, and he Bruce! says, "Bruce, Bruce, <laughs> that's how he looks like." Uh, and he goes, uh, "Lois Lane is the key. He's too soon. You've always been right about him. Fear him." And he says, "You have to find us, Bruce." And uh, a lot of people immediately assumed he was talking about Superman. By context, it seems like. Like he's really well, made Lois, Superman. If you're talking about Lois, you're probably talking about Superman. Exactly. A lot of it sounds like it's Superman. But uh, according to uh, storyboard artist J. Olivia, quote, and remember, when Flash goes back in time, he tells him, you were right about him. He doesn't say exactly who him is. Uh, the average audience member, and even Bruce Wayne, is going to think that he's talking about Superman, when in fact he's referring to someone else. So, so this idiot... Just ruined like the next four movies. Not necessarily, because he just says that. I mean, he doesn't specifically say it isn't Superman. Is either. it because they didn't address it properly within the movie Superman that an executive exactly. I guess he is kind of saying it is saying Superman. Yeah, but anywho, um, so, what? No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to understand it. Uh, it so uh, what I'm saying is like this idiot came out and was like, "Oh yeah, you guys are thinking this." It's like. Well, we were, but now we're not. Like, you couldn't address this in the movie properly? No! I'll it's, explain it. Who, did, it's supposed to be explained in the next movie. It wouldn't have been explained in, this in, in Wonder Woman? Which we'll forget. In Wonder by Woman? Whatever the next, next Justice League movie is, probably. In the full one. Because he says, find us. And I'm assuming he means the entire Justice League. Mm. So, um, basically, there's been a few fan theories about it. And it seems like the most plausible one is he's actually referring to Dark Side. Because we do know the Dark Side Warriors are coming. And uh, it would be... Why can't it be Stephen Wolf? Because that's who was teased in the Ultimate Edition, which is Darkseid's son. I mean, well... It would make you know, more sense if it was the that. The seed leads to... No, the seed leads to the tree? The apple leads to the tree? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we're getting dark side until... No, not immediately. <laughs> but like, we don't know how soon that flashback thing is going to come. I'm not saying that isn't a great word around the campfire, but I will say that quote from that person is fucking retarded. Okay. I mean, okay. I, I don't know this so guy. It's, it's not insulting to you. It's I know because I don't know this person. guy. You idiot. <laughs> but uh, the, the other fan theory is Joker, which I think is a lot less likely. And I just don't think Joker he's gonna have that, appeared. I just don't think he's gonna have that big of a presence in in the current DCU. Besides being the Jared Leto one, that's uh, uh, yeah. that's just went around a campfire. 
Not looking forward to this movie. So. <laughs> I'm never just dark. Just like dark. I'm the weird thing it. is, just is that dark. oh no, I'm actually excited for. Uh, uh, it could be news, but uh, I, I didn't address it yet. If you guys haven't heard, Judas Contract mm-hmm. is the next animated film to come to uh, the DC animated films mm-hmm. and whatnot. So I'm excited about that. That's one of the best Teen Titan stories ever. Now, sure. but I'm a little scared because. Teen Titans right now has Damien, so they're going to switch it up with Damien as the leader. I'm not okay with that, but <laughs> whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right. We're around a campfire. Sig- Sigourney Weaver's Defenders villain is still a mystery, and she describes the character. I Well, this is what she says. I can't say much because they might kill me. Weaver joked to a variety. Um, say something. What? Oh, because she said if she says yeah. something, they might kill her, so I, I told I, her to say something. <laughs> I think everyone I work for might kill me if I tell you anything, but I have the most delicious character. She's really smart, and she's very in charge. Delicious. So not much to reveal. Is there any edible characters within the Marvel I'm universe? I'm thinking, are you a fan of Candyland? She may be the Peppermint Queen, possibly. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a character from Candyland. <laughs> that's a fucking awkward reference right now, dude. Like, that was where you pull from? Yeah, I like Candyland. Well, little do you guys know, uh, <laughs> Disney actually acquired the rights to Candyland. <laughs> Bam! They bought out Hasbro. Uh, it's just going to be a giant Is it a Hasbro game? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I don't pay attention enough Hasbro. to that. Yeah, exactly. All those, like, weird kids-themed ones. Yeah. I didn't. I did not know that. We're, dude, we're missing our producer. But yeah, I know. <laughs> that's Aaron. just a word around the campfire. Hey, Aaron! Fuck you! Uh, he doesn't even. He probably can't even hear me. He's like, "Who's he's talking about me right now?" But yeah, no, no, no. Well, who could she play? Who's edible? Who's delicious? Who's, who's, who's eatable? Who's yes. delicious? Like, May- like, <gasps> is there character They're doing hot? a crossover, Insane. and it's the person yeah. from Chew that can make the weapons into chocolate from chocolate. Yeah, boom. So she's. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of people that can do that in she universe. But yeah. <laughs> Is wait no, but Olivia, there's only one that the could. Le- the only one left alive would be Olivia. Maybe she's Olivia. She's future Olivia. I'm down. Except for she's <laughs> Asian, not red haired. But yeah. Well, well I, I mean, make it <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, so was the ancient one, and they weren't Asian in it. That's fair. She's wet. <laughs> she's, she's wet. Like, she, she's wet. <laughs> Why? No, no, you didn't even have the tea at the end. It was just, she why? She why? She why? Oh, I sound hick and white as I can be. And we officially—I don't think that's what I got out of that. I don't know many white people that talk like that. But uh, Tim, so have you have you heard to the south? Yes, yeah. Tim, have you heard yourself talk at all? I don't, I don't talk. I don't say you, wet. You don't listen to the podcast, though. So I do listen to the podcast. You wouldn't know. Right? I listen to the podcast. I'm kidding. About? I'm kidding. Let's Goodness go ahead. gracious. Man. Let's get <laughs> into <laughs> comic quickies. So, uh, we actually have a few new members, part of Star Trek Discovery. First up is Doug Jones. He's a veteran Doug actor. Jones. I love Doug Jones. Uh, he actually has worked on a lot of different stuff. Yeah. But uh, first and foremost, he is best known for his role as Ape Sapien. I'd say Angel of Death too. From what? Uh, the, from the the Hellboy, the second Hellboy movie with he has that giant like thing and he has the wings. Yeah, and stuff. It, it's all white, correct? With well, no like, eyes. Great. Yeah, no eyes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also the um, the creature from uh, oh, fuck what was it? What's that one? Uh, Guillermo del Toro movie in uh, in Spain during uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, creepy movie. Yeah, he, he plays a movie. yeah he plays a bunch so of characters high. from that too. <laughs> I love Doug Jones. The Jones sponsor me. I love Doug you. Jones. Doug Jones. Doug Jones. Jones. Give me He's my a rock nice team. Guy. He can be on my rap team. You know him? I know of him through a friend. Oh, okay. yeah, same. Tony, Tony, so we're going to have him on the like podcast you. soon enough. <laughs> uh, he's actually <laughs> French Canadian, yeah, so he, he already like doesn't you. like you. Uh, he, Michelle, he, is, he he abandoned it, too. He abandoned Canada. Michelle Yahoy. 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 Uh, she was part of <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, Anthony Rap. Double P. Rap. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be the the cast so far. And of course, uh, if you guys don't know, Star Trek Discovery is coming out May of 2017. So we're just around the corner from that. It's gonna be interesting. So, uh, are you guys real quick? Are you guys gonna watch it by chance? Understandable. Let's go ahead. Let's <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it for Dungeons. There we go. How, is that is that fair? Watch it for no. Dead. No. <laughs> eh. 
Anyway, um, so uh, what's called Nick Offerman, which uh, who's known best for his role on Parks and Rec as Ron Swanson, yes, yes. the mustache god. Mm. Anyway, uh, is working. Uh, he talked to Conan O'Brien on Wednesday, and he's uh, kind of sharing some things about a new book he's working on called "Good Clean Fun: Misadventures in Sawdust uh, at the Offerman Workshop." Uh, and apparently, he's also working with partly Chris Pratt on it, but it's supposed to be a four-page comic book that has like homoerotic. <laughs> I want to quote this here: a four-page homoerotic comic book about me and Chris. Pratt chopping down a tree. <laughs> so uh, that should be coming out. In the Do near you guys future. feel like maybe like the whole comic will just be like them chopping at one single tree and just like be like, you want to know how I know you're gay? And like, but it's actually becoming like I saw more gay. They I saw that episode of Conan and he did show like a, a page of it and it's like <laughs> if you're going to be in the woods messing around with tools, you don't want to get a sunburn. It's just Ron. Yeah, Ron is like. <laughs> Rubbing lotion on Chris Pratt. Shirtless. I'm so excited for this. So. I am unbelievably excited for this. Goodness gracious. Seven uh, Who's publishing? I don't yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta be First like. Thing, it's weird. not Marvel. It's like Image or something. I'd say yeah. Image or Oni Press. Well, you know what? That's. Uh, oh, our producer's back. He didn't hear all the shit talking we were, we were saying again. We? Cough clap. Cough clap. Anyway, that's just <laughs> word around the. Do Able. Princess Wave. Do you know how Princess Wave goes? Big, big, small, small. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> it's like the movie. You are a princess? Big, big, small, small. It's no. Princess Diary? Princess, no, no, what's yeah. the, is I that the movie? The princess Diary. With Anna Hathaway? Anna Hathaway? Anna Hathaway. Yeah. Anna Hathaway? That's the movie with her? No. Oh, it's not, <laughs> which one's that? Yes. No, I'm, you're right, but just the. <laughs> The Anna, Anna Hathaway. Yeah. Anna Hathaway. I didn't say it like that. Uh, so yeah. Did you just say word around the campfire when we were <laughs> <I> said, <laughs> out of it? No, no, no. I said, <laughs> I said word around the table when I realized we don't have he that said, table yeah. here anymore. So. And then I heard campfire. What about word so. close by the desk? In the vicinity of Matt's desk. There you go. All right, Tiffany. What do we got? Anyways, we got a Nintendo theme park coming soon. Woo! Oh, yeah. But it's going to be only in Japan and Orlando for now. Um, so we may see, like, some big, giant um, piranha plants and uh, the bombs. question box. I don't know about that. I want bomb So bombs. they want that. Maybe, hopefully, we'll get a Mario Kart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, big news. Okay, uh, this is what I... Except the dark is moving to Japan. Let's go. Why can't we just go to Orlando? That one's closer. No, I hate Florida. Hot. I don't want to get my face eaten. Allergic to sun. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. So, so are you? So you're not coming with this? I don't know. Room. I gotta figure out some kind of way. <laughs> we'll have. I can't wear a sunblock or anything. Just ha- to Ben that too. will be your chaperone, and he will have a UV protected umbrella. Yeah, that's it. Over you. Yeah, you can. Have, you have like a vampire have umbrella. Yeah, they have those. Hmm. I feel so sorry for you. I. At the age you are, you're barely discovering this, and you're like, I could have had this my whole life. What the fuck? I know. I'm sorry, Tiff. At least you know now. Well, this late happened to me when I was 18 all of a sudden I got okay. this allergic reaction. There you go. Well, better late than never. Let's go ahead. <laughs> what the let's, fuck? <laughs> let's get into comics that are coming out this week. Now, I read Faith Issue 6, and uh, Faith is basically uh, helping the Psyots. That's their name. That is like their version of kind of like... Uh, Kind of like their X Men. It's it's really going deep into that in Generation Zero because apparently they have like an X Men team and it's funny because there's a shit ton of them. But she's trying to help out this specific one where uh, this organization accidentally created um, a Sia and now this person is instilled in a cat but is able to manipulate other people and give them powers and controls. Eventually, it's really really nice because at the very end of it, Faith comes up and and talks the person to basically letting go and somehow disconnecting mm-hmm. from the cat and saves this little girl but it, it's really touching because it's like look like I struggled with you like the, your personality the way you were as a kid and that was the way that very trying to like home in and be like I've been through what you've been through let go of the power and it just ends up it, it's actually kind of funny because it doesn't say it but I'm pretty sure this takes place in Santa Monica 
like they have the pier and everything and at the very end it's faith reminiscing about her about her memories and stuff and sitting on the beach with her toes in the sand and that's the way it ends uh i highly suggest it, it sounds and actually, like a song <laughs> it seems like a music video that's what it seems like it's it's awesome i i really suggest people sand pick castles it up. in the sand <laughs> right isn't that the isn't that the, uh what's it called uh who's that guitar guy what? jimmy hendrix that's a jimmy hendrix song isn't it no yeah this is how i made that's your all mother. along that's all along the uh, watchtower homie no 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 castles made of sand fall into the sea eventually i was saying like a totally different song uh, well, I missed out on that one. So, uh, do I suggest picking up Faith? Yeah, actually, especially if you have, like, a daughter. They don't really cuss a lot, so I feel this is really, like... What I like about Faith is, like, she's a girl, and this this does seem like not a girly comic, but a girl-driven comic. On top of it, though, you know, she's heavy set and she kind of, like, she struggles with that. And, like, sometimes people make fun of her, sometimes people don't, and she addresses it all in, like, a proper way, so... And you all have many superheroes that are heavy set. Yeah. And, and that's like, it's breaking the mold for it. So do, do I suggest it? Yes, pick it up, especially right now. Um, since it's issue six, I believe we're actually, this is the beginning of, of a new story arc. So go ahead and um, pick that up. Uh, that is it for me, actually. Uh, I read Ninjak 22 this week, to which was, to my surprise, I had probably like five lines of dialogue in the entire thing. As a silent comic. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty rad, though, because it was just all action. So it's just nonstop like Ninjak fighting these crazy like monk dudes the whole time. And yeah, he's he's outside like uh uh Las Vegas, like the desert. And he like there's um <clears throat> like yeah, these like uh, monk guys pop out with swords and a couple of them have rocket launchers. So he dispatches them, he goes down this tunnel and ends up going to uh this like um it's like a temple of some sort. It looks like, uh, like if you combined like an Indian temple with like an, uh, like a, like Central American, like Indian temple, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You melded those two together. Yeah. And, uh, I don't, yeah, don't want to give anything away, but he gets, he comes, uh, meets someone pretty interesting there, a character of his past possibly. Yeah. I'm not sure too sure about the context of it all, but <laughs> yeah. Cause it's not said. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> nothing said, nothing set up. It's just like, I'm in the desert. I want to fight a buttload. I mean, I mean a buttload. Like, near the end, he's just fighting, like, hundreds of dudes. And, like, don't get me wrong. He's messing them up. But, like, he's taking some damage himself. He's got arrows stuck in him. He's cut up all over. It was it was pretty it was pretty intense. Nice. I'll give, you, give you that. So, yeah, if you're, if you're somebody that just doesn't want to read a lot, at least for an issue, but wants to just watch <laughs> a dude fuck up a lot of other dudes. Pick it up. That's what you get. All right, cool. <laughs> Um, I read Super Fuckers number five. So what orgy of a book <laughs> well, is this I, I believe all about? It's actually no called, orgy. I believe it's called Super F Asterix Curse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it bleeps out the fuckers? It is yeah. bleep on the cover. Even though they like, curse a lot in oh, yeah. the, uh, the oh, comics. Oh, so a lot. first off, this is an adult IDW comic. <laughs> Super adult. <laughs> okay, I'm mature. But yeah, when you see the cover, it looks like, oh, it's a... Kids I'm gonna look it up. Comment. It looks like a five year old. Because it's drew it. yeah, a five year old drew it, and then even the writing, it looks like <laughs> crayon, like <laughs> font. But it's like it's just so random because all of a sudden they're like in a dimen- zero dimension, and <laughs> I guess the team leader, he's all like, "Hey guys," blah, blah, blah. he's like, "Oh fuck." Okay, that <laughs> I can't. I can't show one. this. Oh, the blonde one. Okay. I can't show this, but I looked up super super fuckers issue four. And this is what I'm getting, all right, people? Yeah, it's not <laughs> correct. That is IDW. Super. Yeah. Super funny. That's the, that's the wrong I comic, mean, there, Matt. Are you Matt? sure that's not already uh, on your phone? You yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. No, 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 no. I got something else. He got something more adult. Uh, go real. ahead and look up <laughs> Super Fuckers. Yeah, Matt, issue four. you might want to turn your safe search back on, uh... You know, yeah. I'm gonna have to delete my history after this. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the issue four, and that seemed to make the world different. Yeah, so go ahead. But it's just like this. They're like, oh fuck I the guy, because like, I guess they don't like the team leader, the blonde there guy. Yeah. So it's like, hey, you need to punch this new dimension that's coming up, this vortex. <laughs> you need to punch and it. And he's all, and he's just there. He's like, yeah, I'm scratching my nuts. And he's like, no, I need you to punch it. He's like, oh, punch my nuts? Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like, it's, very, it's stupid funny. It's stupid, but yeah. hilarious. I'm like. No, I remember like an earlier issue, like it came in. I was like, what in the world is it? Especially because like 
One of the covers was still like cartoony style, but yeah. like that variant cover was like hyper is, realistic. Is this the art you're talking about? Yeah, it's it looks like that, but there's one issue that had like super realistic one, so I was really confused. And I was like opening up and flipping through it, and like I was like, this looks like it's drawn by a child, but then like randomly one of the characters were just peeing on the couch and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm right, like, cool. yeah. I was like, what is this? It's just a bunch of other stuff. So it's like it's hilarious. I mean, if you wanna, if, if you, you want a good laugh, yeah, if you want a good laugh if you and you don't want to like and read a comic, I mean, there's like a bunch of random stories in it, but apparently they connect. Okay. But um but yeah, if you don't want to read something like totally serious, like you just like whatever. All right, you read something else as well. Um Boombox Mixtape 2016. Yeah. It's rich from Boom Studios. Um It reminds a, me of the Vertigo Quarterlies. Like there were a bunch of short stories. Yeah, there yeah. were a bunch of short stories of like um the Lumberjanes mm-hmm. and uh who else is in it? Well, any like all their all their, all their signature have, titles. yeah all their yeah. signature titles yeah, and then yeah. you have some ones that you haven't heard before but they're just short little stories mm-hmm. so I feel like if people want to get to like no like they heard about these stories but they don't know what to start with I think this is a good way to just step into feel. it yeah oh. yeah I mean like especially if you enjoy that like web comic style art that like really simplified but like fun almost cartoony mm-hmm. art yeah, yeah like it's even if you just appreciate that it's a great buy because okay. you're gonna get just so many, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the comments. Real quick, uh, backtracking a little bit. Super fuckers kind of looks like, um, like Adventure Time art, but not with like, but worse, but way, but worse. with like real people, not like you know wizards and stuff. But worse yeah, but too. like it feels like if these are the people that are like eh, the ones that got the D's in the art yeah. class. Yeah. <laughs> these are the ones that didn't graduate from CalArts, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> All the ones that did graduate go to that. But they are they have a comic now, so. They achieve something somehow, <laughs> some way. Those bastards. Did somehow, it. some way, <laughs> shit just went down. So you suggest people picking up Boombox, just a compilation of everything. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, I personally uh, read uh, within last week, so we this at, is comments that already week. came out. Uh, I read. It's technically Whisper Wars Part Four. But it is issue 160 of The Walking Dead. So we're currently within the Whisper Wars. And it, it, right now, we have half of our team trying to walk amongst the Whispers because they're they're sending an attack they're, on Alexandria. They're those people that wear the zombie skin, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So they're zombie Spooky, skinned up. Spooked up. And it's funny because there's a part where it's like <laughs> they're walking. I'm like, Michonne, Michonne, st- stab, one, stab that guy right there. He knows where, He knows who we are. All right. All right, we gotta shut the fuck up. Oh shit, they found out. <laughs> the zombies just like turn they're like, shit. So they start killing them, and it ends like that with that particular group. Then we jump to actually Alexandria. And while uh, the whispers are able to walk amongst everyone, mm-hmm. they not only break down the doors of Alexandria, but while they're outside, they're using f- like flaming arrows and just l- like. Like the scene from 300, but with oh, like flaming 500. arrows, just going and like, oh my God. And I did, freaking Carl almost dies at one point. Oh, so he didn't Carl. die. And Carl did not die. Spoiler. Geez. How many times has he almost <laughs> died? All the time. Um, every issue. Like, no, every they haven't really, no, they haven't really messed with him now. Yeah. Within, the, within the TV show, they yeah. mess with him a lot. But within the comic books, like right after Negan, it, it dies down. In fact, uh, he becomes, uh, uh, is it Ironsmith? Iron Smith? Iron Metal? Worker? Some of the works. Uh, blacksmith? Yeah, Blacksmith. Yeah, blacksmith. Well, yeah but he's... Is he making but, weapons? Or he, he, yeah, he's making like swords and stuff. Gunsmith? Oh, no, just, yeah, just no guns. Yeah, they're yeah. like blacksmith. blacksmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he starts doing all that, and that's currently what he's doing within this universe. That's his job, because Hilltop, Alexandria, and the kingdom kind of have this like triangle of, of not only helping each other out, but it's like, oh, you can move over there and live over there. You can live with us. You guys have corn? Yeah, we have corn. Do you have ammo? Yeah, we have ammo. And they're, they're trading. Everything's kind of good within the kingdom. So uh, it actually ends with, I forgot the character, but she's the one that this war is all over because Carl falls in love with this chick. It's the one that licks Carl's eye. Do you mm, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's check, why yeah. the war is, is, is starting because she kind of came over and they crossed each other's lines and now that they're they Romeo and Juliet kind of dealia going more intense because at one point to divide she's like a sick fuck who likes to lick eyeballs what <laughs> I can't tell if it I can't tell if hey, it's love or not you don't between know about her and you know what she does you, I don't want to know <laughs> I can't tell if it's truly love between them or not but it, it nonetheless this war is happening this mm-hmm. is what we're in how, how old so is he he's like 14 right I think he's older I think yes. he's like 16 so like, it's, it's not real love so now it's like a game of chess pretty much yeah 
But but here's the thing. With that being said, I kind of feel like this reverts back to like when we were young. Like when I'm not younger. Uh, let me say this correctly. <laughs> but like back in the day where it's like 15, 16 is married because you're probably not going to live to 30 kind of thing. You know what I mean? So it's like deep in Oh, uh, okay. No, like med- <laughs> medieval times. You got yeah, married super yeah, young, yeah. so you have kids to work the farm as quick as you can because you're going to die at the ripe old age of like 28. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because and if that, you pass 28, then you're old as fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. When you hear I about, got the senior citizen discount yeah. at 28. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Like, 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 you know, um, that mo- the Flintstones movie? He's like, yeah. no. <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? You are the only one that doesn't like Flintstones. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I don't care enough about Flintstones to worry hey, about Hey, man, that. but you but, care about the BC-52s. <laughs> sure, man. Twist, twist. <laughs> uh, don't say, give me that look. <laughs> that, you don't remember that? Wait. Remember the 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 band that was in oh, the, the Flintstones? No, they, they were the BC. <laughs> yeah, but they were the B fifty twos. Yes. Although I do hate the B fifty twos. We were at a party. Everyone had I matching said I rocks. Are you Family Guy when Peter? <laughs> I'm gonna quote Tim right now, and I don't want to talk about it. I hate the B fifty twos. Are they French Canadian? Uh, they might talk, be French Canadian. About French Canada all day. <laughs> we don't talk about it. We just French like fries? to slip it. <laughs> French Canadian fries. That's, yeah. that's oh. garlic fries that they made. No, it's thing. poutine. I'll poutine give one fries. Thing. I was going to say poutine. I'll, that's the one thing I'll give them. Poutine. That's Cheese it. and gravy on potatoes. Who would have fucking so guessed it? Just one thing. Who would have guessed it? I that's mean, it. Scott Pilgrim came from there. No, he didn't. He's and so did Chip Sadarsky. That's where, yeah, that's He's where, from Toronto. And that's where he found out like plum tree and then he got the inspiration yeah. of Scott Pilgrim. from Toronto. Mm. Plum tree. Scott Pilgrim's from Toronto. Mm. Plum tree. It says, says in the comic. Mm. Directly from, he's not from Yeah, but the writer is from where? Uh, Los Angeles. He currently resides in Los Angeles. <laughs> you False stay away from the butter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so do I suggest picking it up? No, because you're going to have to wait till the repercussions of af- uh, after this whole war. But so um, don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. No, wait till Why? the war is over. What if you're like, you're just close? Would you want to watch the war? You, you, you're too late. You're, you're at the fourth issue. So Fair. just wait, wait because be right, right, yeah, right when the in six, uh, right after the sixth issue comes out, you're gonna get the trade of it, and it's easier to buy that and then start picking up Walking Dead from there. So that's what I suggest doing with this. And then Tim, you read something. I had a couple. Uh, so I read the new issue of Deadly Class, and I am officially like just I will, the new characters from it. I I liked, but I wasn't like hundred percent sold in. But I think this issue I've. Com- completely been like sold in it yeah. like they're actually trying to branch out and be a little less vanilla than most of them i don't know like they're not vanilla so before. they're a little less tim which is they're all a bunch of punk kids in the first one which is fine like they were interesting characters they had the differences but they're mostly just punk kids and now it's like pop punk kids you got this pop punk? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is sorry. before pop punk this is in the 80s uh but yeah now we had this german guy that lived in East Germany, loves metal music and hates communists like crazy. You have this girl, you don't really know that much. Even though this issue really centered on her, you still know so little about her. Who She's some Africa in some way, and she's there not because she wants to kill people, but she needs the skills to protect her family. You know, you find a little bit more about uh, Quan, who's this Vietnamese guy. He's a greaser, but you, you kind of like learn that like part of the reason he loves greaser and American lifestyle so much is not because like it's just a phase or whatever. It's like his mom left his dad in Vietnam to go to America and left his family and he wants to have that connection with it. So it's like this issue really like branched out and made you like connect with these characters and like I miss the old ones. It started what it did with the first day of the class. It's what the fir- investing you into it. Exactly. And it feels like a school and it feels like the interaction even though they're killing people and doing crazy shit like it's still supposed to have that they're kids and they have that school uh, thing. So I actually... I, even, even though I was in love with the original character, Marcus, the main character, who's no longer in it, dead, alive, you don't really know. But, uh, um, probably dead. <laughs> Sadly. More than likely I want dead. him to be alive so bad. Uh, but um, these new characters are just like, they're kind of better than the rest. And I'm loving it. I'm loving the older characters' interactions with them. Like, this comic is like... It's better than it was before. It's really weird to say that. It doesn't happen too often. Usually, those first couple story arcs are just so good. And then, you know, especially with Image, because it, it seems like uh, everybody blows their load in the first image. Yeah, totally. Perfect example would be Fuck Fairyland. We read it, technically, it, mm-hmm. it could have been a completed series within yeah. those five issues. 
But then after that, you went into like these one-off. Everything was a yeah. one-off, mm-hmm. and it didn't connect as well. And starting to come back a little yeah. bit. Well, they yeah. what they explain is like this is what I, I wanted to run down both routes. So understand mm-hmm. what the next story arc. They're all going to be one-offs, but there's going to be an overlining and then a nice bow on at mm-hmm. the fifth issue, which oh. seems like what basically what usually happens. Either mm-hmm. that, or if you're with Image, you push to like 15 issues, you get approved for it. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't make it, then you just, you accept it, you move on, it, it becomes a completed graphic novel. Mm-hmm. At least you tried to sell it. So th- if you make it past that, you're kind of like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Mm-hmm. So with uh, Deadly Class being at issue 24, definitely bringing in, having to continue the story and at least ending it properly with year one, year two, year three, mm-hmm. year four, and now we're starting off with yeah. a new year. I'm actually kind of excited because then I want to get to like the 90s. I want to get to like every yeah. era. I don't know how far they're going to go with it, but like, yeah, it would see, I would love to see this series exist long enough to be in the modern day. You Even got like Green Day like, and stuff. Yeah. Welcome oh, to Paris. <laughs> no, but it'll be early Green Day. So it'll be like Gilman Street Green Day. We'll see yeah. Rancid. We'll see Operation Ivy. We'll see No Effects. We'll see all the 90 90- propaganda. Oh, yeah, she, um, They're all from the, the devil. East Bay. AFI! Oh, God. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, AFI's uh, East Bay hardcore band. Well, was. Now they're. Was. Yes. And but the still. I was like, wait. If we hit the <laughs> '90s, it'll be that because they're they're in Berkeley and they yeah. and this story is based out of the San Francisco, Francisco area. That's so. true. Anywho, and then there as was you can tell, I know my Berkeley. There was rock. a character in it. With, I was uh, surprised to see a character with a. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I shouldn't have been, but like uh, one of the main characters, the new main characters to a degree at least. I was um, wearing it like a good old tilted up suicide. Oh, suicidal, suicidal hat. hat. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, Does right. it say suicidal on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but uh, you will love this issue specifically. I haven't read it. I read twenty two and twenty three. There's a lot of. Ex- position in this one it has a like like two three maybe even longer page story like fart story that i know a you would story? love are you yeah <laughs> and it's i i'm still saying this Why is a great issue I like farts i'd like to fart but it doesn't mean you'll, same you'll thing? like the story yeah okay. same thing. uh but yeah uh, <laughs> do i suggest you buy it um absolutely i, I, I would buy this entire like i the guess trades. second year the or second trades, yeah the, yeah the, the new ones this Which has started in 22, so you'd have to collect 22, 23, and 24. Yeah, I, that sounds right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, because when I started collecting, it was yeah. 22. All right, cool. Then yes. And yes. you're reading, you're like, I don't know who the fuck these people are. And it was the, it was the yeah, freshman class. I remember class. that issue, yeah, that new freshman class. And I was just like, who are these people? Like, I know Seiya, and I know the baddies, but where's, where's my boy Marcus? And it's the like, last but oh, not yeah. least. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this one's going to take a little explaining of what it is. We're going to have time for a little bit. Uh, real quick, real quick. So you're going to have to... So it's, it's a sequel to God is Disappointed in You, which is a retelling oh. of the Bible in a very straightforward and comedic manner. I got to interview the person that wrote that. Oh, um, Mark Russell? Yes. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's hilarious. You can find that interview yeah. at Rat House, R A T T H U S. At so the th- Comic-Con? Yeah. Yeah, in the Comic-Con video. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. You actually told me... you. It was either you or it was someone else. Oh, if I was mean, I forgot. It was either you or it was uh, Daniel. And you're like, oh my God, this person? They wrote this. And Tiffany and I were actually looking at the book because it was across uh, with IDW. It's hilarious. It's it's very good. And I just read the sequel. I just finished the sequel finally after far too long called Apocrypha Now, which includes Mm -hmm. uh, the Apocrypha, like stories from like early Jewish texts and Christian texts. So it's like if you want religion, but a little like little funny little pizzazz. spice and a little pizzazz with great illustrations. It has um, Shannon, I've got her name, Shannon something, uh, who's a New Yorker illustrator. So mm-hmm. it's like, if you like that political style art, there's, there's some great, like really funny pictures in there. And that. it doesn't even look like a comic book because it looks like a yeah. regular It looks like, the, like a, or like a Bible. Yeah. It's, it's like, it has that It like, looks like the kid's like, Bible that has the cartoons in it. Yeah, and yeah, it has yeah right exactly. Because it's like, what, the color is like red and yeah. like, well, a black one. It's mm-hmm. supposed to, yeah, yeah. The, the red one's, yeah, the park fun then, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's great, and I think anyone that can like take have like a laugh at religion in a very like non, it's not very threatening, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Okay. It's, it's 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 fun and, and it's mostly tasteful. It it just depicts God as a kind of an angry, lovable guy. Mostly tasteful. Uh, mostly tasteful. I mean, I I can't. I'm not the one to judge that for sure. But uh, if you if you're comfortable with that, I think it's a great fun buy. And you actually learn. I learned a lot of stuff about like. Uh, the Bible and about the um, the Torah and stuff that I didn't know. I mean, obviously told in a weird veil, but there's some cool stories. Hey man, in. if you understand it, you understand yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, you guys. Well, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Comics After Dark. Of course, go to R-A-T-T-H-A-U-S.net, and you can find all of our podcasts or R-A-T-T space H-A-U-S productions on YouTube. I'm your host, I'm J.R. Also known as Matt, and as always, Young King. Symphony. Make sure to call 714-684-1652 to call into the show. All right, guys? Well, until next time, keep on comic coming. Later. <laughs>